three loans made. That means roughly two million fraudulent loans, and we find that it was the lenders who put the lie in the liar's loans. Next part, that's what hyperinflated the bubble. When you get a really huge bubble, when it collapses, you get the great recessions and depressions. So that's what drove this crisis, that's what made the criminal bankers rich, and that's what cost us 10 million American jobs and 11 trillion dollars. A trillion is a thousand billion. Eleven trillion dollars lost versus 150 billion in the savings and loan crisis. In this crisis, as I told you, we made over 10,000 criminal referrals in the savings and loan crisis, which was 170th as big. In this crisis, zero criminal referrals by the same agency, therefore zero convictions, and only as recently as 2007, 120 FBI agents nationwide supposed to deal with 4 million frauds, whereas we had a thousand FBI agents just on the savings and loan crisis, which again was 170th of the size. So I'm guessing you're a fan of uh, Ben Bernanke? <laughs> yeah. What's, what's your uh, comments about Vivian? If we want to fix the problem, you've got to start always by fixing the regulators. So you can't fire Ben Bernanke as a, you know the president doesn't have that power, but he can ask for his resignation. And you got to fire Geithner, and you got to fire Holder. Holder is the attorney general. Geithner is the treasury secretary. Bernanke and Geithner were promoted or re uh, re-upped because they were failures as financial regulators, and indeed they were the most abject failures as regulators in the history of regulation. I couldn't agree with you more, Bill Black. Thank you so much.